Well, if you thought it was chilly today, you were right. It was chilly. We only made it up into the mid to upper 40s. However, it's average for this time of year. Once again, the high today in Eugene was 47 degrees. Our average is 46. So right on par, it is December. So we are talking cooler temperatures. Now highs across the state. We did even have colder temperatures when you head off to the eastern part of the state. You can see the Grand John Day at 37 degrees. Uh, Burno there, or excuse me, Burns at 35 degrees. Also 38 degrees down in Rome. So very chilly air over to the eastern part of the state. There was even cooler temperatures as you head into parts of Idaho, Montana, and both of the Dakotas. Now looking at our current temps, we're still in the mid to upper 40s along the coast. Also low to mid 40s along I-5. Then we see the colder air as you head out to the central part of the state. 26 degrees near Willamette Pass near Odell Lake. So if we see any of those light showers move on through, we're looking at snow showers instead of rain showers because that temperature is below freezing. Now what we have going on across the state, we had the overcast guys throughout the entire day but now beginning to see some breaks along the coast and into the Umpqua Basin there you can see some breaks in that thick cloud cover unfortunately though the sun has now set so at least may get to see a few peaks of the color some purples out there but then we'll see some stars as we head into tonight now there are a few showers still out there light showers though mainly focused in the north and western part of the state even a few snow showers as you head into the northern Cascades there uh, near Mount Hood and stuff picking up about four inches of snowfall today day. Now we have a high pressure in control of our weather right now. You can see it located out there pushing that jet stream wall to the north and then that jet stream pushes into our area bringing in some very cold air. Exactly, exactly why we are seeing the cold temperatures today. Now that high will be in place today, or excuse me, tonight, tomorrow, Monday, and we'll see mainly dry conditions but still remaining chilly. The high breaks down though as we head into Tuesday as the next front moves in. This front is going to move in from the Gulf of Alaska so we are looking at cold temperatures along with uh, some rain showers as we head into Tuesday night. So playing this through on Precision Cast, starting it off actually uh, about midnight tonight, excuse me, uh, noon tomorrow, we have the overcast skies and then we put it into motion throughout Sunday night into Monday. Once again, a few light showers here or there popping up, but mainly we're all going to stay mostly cloudy through the day on Monday. So backtracking back to Sunday, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s along the coast. A few more peaks of the sun throughout the day than what we saw today. As we head into Monday, much of the same story then that system moves through Tuesday afternoon so we're looking at heavy rain Tuesday night wrapping up on Wednesday though but look at the temperatures they drop into the upper 40s that's along the coast though for the Umpqua Basin upper 40s low 50s once again a few more sun breaks otherwise mostly cloudy same situation on Monday but temperatures fall into the upper 40s on Tuesday then we're looking at mid 40s by Wednesday as those showers wrap up over the Cascades looking at 30s over the passes 40s in the foothills snow level at 6,000 feet so it's rising uh, compared to today However, as we head into the middle part of the week, it's going to fall back down to about 2,500 feet or so. Central Oregon highs will be in the low 40s, tomorrow partly sunny skies. We're looking at snow showers to move back in Tuesday night into Wednesday. For the valley, mid to upper 40s. A few more sun breaks today than what we, or excuse me, tomorrow than what we saw today. Winds will be light as we head into Monday. Much of the same story. Then that system moves through Tuesday afternoons. So we're looking at rain showers. Also temperatures falling into the mid 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Then low 40s as we head into Thursday, but we'll at least see somewhat of a dry period.